Hello and welcome, RC Shim in the hangar. Today we'll check out the DJI Assistant, but the consumer drone version, remember this. But there is a new firmware out, so I could upgrade. But before I upgrade, I will head out and fly in terrible light conditions and hurry up to install the firmware upgrade and fly again. And hopefully we'll see better backlight compensation or uh, exposure, auto exposure algorithms in place. Okay, so I will not be out here for long. All on auto settings, 2.7K, 4x3 resolution, low latency in terrible light conditions with the old firmware and then the second flight will be with the new firmware. Yeah, at least we have some smoke to play around with. The critical thing, the garage, which is which is very low light T. Oh. Yeah, and this is the backlight uh, scene that is terrible. And I hope this, this gets better with the new firmware. Touchdown! Oh yeah, and I'm on Beta Flight 440 Release Candidate 3 and there for me the OSD doesn't work nicely. It's hard to show, but you only see the, the names of the variables but not the values, so it's not centered. But that's just a little inconvenience. The other OSD elements, I move them slightly left and top. So I see everything in frame, which is nice. So let's head in and uh, install the new firmware. One thing that's nice and convenient now is the air is just barely warm during the update. You don't need to cool it. It was quite easy on the air unit. On my goggles version 2, on the first time it failed, gave me the error of 5, 100 and 4. Then I just rebooted the goggles, tried it again and then it worked. The settings were back at default settings on the goggles. So I, once again, I set it to 2.7K 120 in 4x3 mode, all on auto. These cine-like colors, which are now 10-bit apparently. So today the fog is actually a good thing because it's quite constant shitty light conditions. So we should hopefully see a good difference. It's still, with the default settings, this still looks shitty. I mean, it's smooth and everything, and totally flyable. Straight away go into the garage and check the bad backlight scenario. Is this? No, it's not better. Do you see? That's the problem here. I mean, it's okay, but yeah. Okay, in the 30 frames mode, what that will give me in terms of latency, <laughs> I will see. And I also increased the exposure value to 0.7 plus, to have it a bit brighter. <laughs> oh shit! Really? You cannot possibly fly in the 30 frames mode. Ah, this is so terrible. It's like so many double frames in the live view. Uh, that's the most unnecessary of modes ever. Oh, this is shitty. How could they do such a thing? Like, it's, it's very stuttery. No way I could fly it. So, forget the 30 frame. There was a little phase of being euphoric about DJI giving us 30 frames, which I always wanted on the DJI FPV, on the potato drone. It's just, yeah, it's unnecessary. It's dangerous even. Going to 2.7K, 60. Yeah, 60 frames is definitely an improvement. And 
And how do I like the image quality now? I mean, it's really sharp. My thumb is really getting numb, so I hope I don't crash inside there. What's now with the light? Yeah, it's okay. It's fine. So maybe, maybe in the 60 frames mode we, we see an improvement after all. For comparison here you see on the left side the 120 frames, sorry, and exposure value zero. And on the right side you see the new firmware in 60 frames mode, which yeah, reacts to the bright roof transparency way better. Oh! <laughs> yes, I like it in the 60 frames mode. It definitely looked better. Here you can see side by side 8 bit on the left and 10 bit on the right, heavily graded to get more out of the footage. And yeah, I don't see that much of a difference. So I took some still images and show you the 8 bit version graded and the 10 bit. Rated. So again, 8 bit here, 10 bit. It looks like it has a bit more saturation, always using the same amount of color correction. I, I need more flights to give you a final conclusion. I will maybe post an update as a pinned comment down below this video and not make another video about it. Kudos to DJI for being so fast with supplying the new firmware. And I'm totally excited for the clarity. Yeah, there are sharpness options now, noise reduction options in the goggles menu, in the advanced camera settings. I had it on default. That was a quick update. Thanks a lot for watching. How do you like the O3 so far? Have you already tried the updated version? Jason? Jason gave me the tip that our Vistas could also be flashed with a firmware that acts like the O3. I will have to test this out when I have time for it. But there has to be some limitations to it. Uh, let me know your your research is already in the comments. Uh, it's it's moving so fast. Yeah. Thanks a lot. See you next time. Bye for now.